Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is what I'm going to call a simple macaroni and cheese. A lot of people don't know how to make a macaroni and cheese from scratch. And I'm going to show you how to do the easy way because a lot of people saw my macaroni and cheese uh, recipe with all of this and all of that and all of that. Can't do it because they feel like it's too tedious to do it. So I'm going to show you how to make a macaroni and cheese that's easy for your family. Like you want to buy that little blue box. And you want to buy that little blue box. And you want to make it by scratch. This is it right here. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do it. So what I'm doing right now is going to show you. I went to the Dollar, dollar General or Dollar Tree. And I bought some of this. This is Varela Macaroni. Yes, for a dollar. And that's a good brand. <clears throat> then I bought some Velveeta cheese. That's the cream, the cheese sauce. That's very good. It's about two packs of that. And then uh, that's what we're going to do with macaroni and cheese with. So I'm going to be right back and show you how we started. First, we need to do really is get our macaroni all cooked. See, it's all cooked like this. It's all cooked. And you want it done. You don't want it to be al dente. You want it to be done. And that's what we're going to do right here. So what we're going to do, we'll be right back and show what we put right in put what else in here. Alright, what we're going to do is, uh, first of all, we're going to add about a cup of milk to about two cups of cooked macaroni. And we're going to let it cook like this. As it cook, we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. About like that. Two tablespoons of butter. Just like that. Hope you're in the camera and seeing that. Okay, we're going to blend this together. This is a very easy macaroni, and it's a lot better than it's in that box. Okay, you first you're going to have you boil your macaroni. You can boil your macaroni in some bouillon cubes, the chicken bouillon cubes. You can do that if you like. And then I just use black, I just use, uh, really, I just use uh, water and salt. But you can put bouillon cubes in it and do not put no salt when you do the bouillon cube. So we're going to let this melt with the milk and the butter. Just like this. And then we're going to add about one fourth cup of sour cream. Just like this. Sour cream makes it taste really, really good. We're going to blend this together. Like this. To get this blended and this is how you do it now y'all this is a very easy method and I think you'll love it what we did was just add boiled macaroni in bouillon cubes with uh, maybe two bouillon cubes chicken with about two cups of water and about a cup of macaroni okay got that now while that's getting simmered up I use this Velveeta cream cheese I'm going to squeeze it all in here just like this. And we'll be right back. I know you won't see me squeezing nothing. All right. What we're doing now is letting the macaroni and the cheese combine each other. See how they look? They combine each other. Let it cook for a while. It's going to get thick. So at this moment, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese to it. Now, if you don't like Parmesan cheese, don't do it. But I'm adding some to this because it makes it more richer and cheesier. And that's so easy. Now you can put black pepper and salt in it at this point. If you want, but if you don't, you don't have to. All you do is just stir this together. Like this. Now I'm going to use some uh, Chagano cheese. I learned this cheese is very natural than the other cheese that you buy. So try to get the good cheese. It's just only 29 cents different. So I'm going to add cheese to this like this. Just a little. Cheese to it like this so it can help melt. And if it's not butter enough for you, you can add butter at this point. I know everything is not fancy. Dancing over here at Soul Food Queen down in their kitchen. But baby, we be cooking up in here. Okay, we're letting that cook. See how thick that looks? Look how good that looks. See how that? That's what I'm talking about. That is what you're looking for. You look for a good old macaron cheese. It's easy. Now, you don't have to put egg in here. You don't have to. But if you want, make sure it's kind of 
cool before you put the egg in here. But you don't need to put an egg in here. So we're going to pour this in another container and show you what it looks like. Okay? All right. This is our product right here. I'm going to show you how thick that looks. Look how good that is. You're going to let it sit. As it sit, it's going to get thicker. So don't worry about it by it being a little juicy like that. It's not juicy. It's creamy. <laughs> don't worry about that because what it's going to do, it's going to get thick. So what I'm going to do now is add some more of this cheese on top, just like this. While the cheese, while the macaron cheese is hot, we're going to add this cheese. This is a good cheese, y'all. I want y'all to try this cheese because it's really good. I mean, the other cheese is good, but this is best. I think this is the best cheese. This one, John, is the best cheese right here, y'all, because it's very flavorful, flavorful and it's not have that waxy taste on it, that waxy you can taste. Okay, we're going to let that melt, and when that melt, we're going to show you what it looks like. Now, you can put this in a bra if you want to, but I just like for mine to be a natural melt, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to show you <clears throat> how it looks at this sit, and this is how it looks. Really creamy, not dry, and you can put as much cheese you want on it, but I just wanted to show you how it looks with some of the cheese. Look at that. Ain't that wonderful? That is a wonderful macaroni, y'all. Look at that. And like I said, you put as much cheese you want on it, but I just put enough because you know we don't need all that cheese. <laughs> and that's it right there. That's your macaroni right there, y'all. Very delicious. And then you know what's so good about it? It's easy. It's easy as it can be. Look at that. It's an easy macaroni, y'all. This is Sandy. I want to tell you happy eating, and thank you for coming to my channel.